So in order to check how TDE works, let's create a TDE instance. Basically, it's it's an Oracle for instance for Oracle. We're going to name it TDE. So we can say TDE Lab. We're going to keep it Enterprise Edition. We're going to leave it as single instance. We'll give it a password. Everything else, we're going to leave it as default. We're going to add the SSH key. We're going to load our favorite my key and as always no backup for now And we'll say next. So this is going to take around an hour to create. So I'm going to pause the video for now. So the instance is created. So let's uh, log into that instance where the TDE database is. So in order to do that, I will need to log into Puri. Puri. I'm going to log in as OPC at. I'm going to use the private key we've used before. And there I am. So before I can log in, I need to make sure I set the environment. So I'm going to get that done and then we can move forward. Okay. So I've set the environment, I've logged into the database. The name is Oracle, the database name. Now we're going to see which table spaces are encrypted. So I'm going to run this query and none of them are encrypted because as we learned in the theory, that when you deploy the database, none of the table spaces are encrypted. So let's move on to getting some details on the table space uh, on the data file. So users, that's the data file. So now we are going to create a, so now we are going to create a test table. So the table is created and it's created by the user system. And uh, I've inserted a value into the test table. We're going to commit the transaction. So it is created. Now, so now uh, we created the uh, inserted the data into the system uh, table space because it's not encrypted. So if we were to check what's in, in that data file, we should be able to see all the details what's in that data file because it's not encrypted so now let's go ahead and create a new table space so 
So a new table space has been created, which is called XX. So we created the new table space. We then query the table space view and we see that it is encrypted. So as we talked in the theory, the new table space, whenever it's created, it's going to be encrypted. Now, let's see, we're going to modify the default parameter, which uh, says every new table space created will be encrypted. So let's modify that. And we've altered it. We are saying alter system set encrypt new table space to DDL. What it means is if the DDL does not have the clause for encryption, then it should not be encrypted. So now let's create another table space. So we're going to create another table space. This time we're going to call it XX2. It's created. Let's query the table space view. And as we see, XX2 is not encrypted because we modified the parameter to say any new DD, uh, any new table space created should have a clause in the DDL. That means data de definition language. Data definition language is we are defining the table space. So when we created the table space, we only said that this is the name of the table space where the data is stored. If we wanted to have an encrypted table space, we would have added a clause here saying encrypted table space, but we didn't. So it is not. Hope this helps.